Work on the Obama Presidential Center is continuing, and now the center is looking to add some local flavor. WGN's political reporter, Jamon Bradley, joining us now with more than that. Hi, Jamon. Hi, Micah. Hi, Ray. This fall, the Obama Foundation met with more than 100 restaurants to explain their request for proposal process. They're looking for a large-scale operator to partner with local restaurants. It's a model airports use. If you build it, they will come, but they won't stay unless you feed them. With that in mind, the Obama Foundation is on the hunt for a partner to oversee food at the future Obama Presidential Center. Josh Harris is Director of Community Affairs and Engagement. Everyone has a shot at this. Uh, local businesses have a shot at this. Um, and so we want to make sure that people, particularly in the south and west sides, those business owners know that you too can potentially be a part of this presidential experience. In addition to the museum, public plaza, rec center, and new branch of the Chicago Public Library, the Obama Center will feature a restaurant, grab-and-go cafe, and food catering for events on site. Applicants need five years of food serving experience and a track record of providing quick meals to large groups. The foundation hopes vendors join together to submit proposals. Bids are due mid-February. We want some local flair. Uh, Chicago has such rich culture, uh, particularly food culture, um, and we want to make sure that that's represented throughout the center. While many are excited about the Obama Center's estimated annual economic impact, some local residents worry about being priced out. The foundation rejected a written community benefits agreement, but Harris praises City Council's recent passage of an ordinance guaranteeing affordable housing in Woodlawn and other areas. The President and Mrs. Obama uh, made a commitment uh, to the south side of Chicago to give back to a, uh, a city and place that has given so much to them. And that's why they chose to put the presidential center on the south side. Um, we understand that this is uh, hopefully going to be an anchor institution for other local businesses to thrive as 700 plus thousand visitors come annually to visit the center. Harris says the Obama Foundation plans to announce the winning bid this spring, and the center is still on track to open in fall of 2025. Thank you, Tamon.